find out value of this resistance R for maximum power transfer. So we may see that this voltage source is not given, which is actually irrelevant because we just have to find out the value of resistance. To do that, we have to find out either the terminating equivalent resistance or not an equivalent resistance across these two terminals will be same in both cases. So, as per the procedure to find out the terminating equivalent resistance, first we will remove this resistance. Now, we will look into this terminal. Okay. Now, what we have to do? We have to short circuit the voltage sources and open circuit the current sources and find out the resistance between these two terminals. We have a 5 ohm here, a 20 ohm here and a 4 ohm. 5 and 20 in parallel we have equivalent resistance R dash 5 into 20 by 5 plus 20 which gives 5 into 20 by 5 into 5 that is 4 ohm plus this resistance is, is in series with the parallel combination of 5 ohm and 20 ohm. So 4 in series with 4 ohm that gives the resistance R as 8 ohm. That is the terminal's resistance that is looking into this terminal is 8 ohm. So for maximum power transfer, the value of resistor that we must put across these two terminals must be equivalent to the Thevenin resistance looking into that terminal. So we know for maximum power transfer, the value of resistance R should be 8 ohm.